here we have La Brie de Jardin, luxury white meat barge. Very good visibility from the helm position. Very simple layout of controls. Has an 80 horsepower V6 diesel engine, a bow prop, and hydraulic steering, making it a droid to steer on the river. The length of the barge is 64 foot, and the beam is 12.5. Also, very nice dining area. The table folds out to a full-size dining table and raises up. This area can also be converted into a sleeping area. All the side panels can be folded up to create uh, an alfresco dining experience. Now heading down the steps towards the galley kitchen area. On the side are all the control panels. For all the domestic services such as water and waste. It has a holding tank and a thousand three hundred and fifty litre holding tank, a thousand litre water. fuses and behind is the domestic fuse box battery level controls and the generator control a very nice chunky Vectron inverter charger and also there's a generator for additional power. Here we have the kitchen galley area. Up the sink. Five burner gas hob. Cast iron pan supports, a uh, convection oven, microwave extractor fan, then we have a uh, fridge and freezer. Can you appreciate? It's a very bright, bright and spacious uh, living area. There's a breakfast bar. Also, we have dishwasher and washing machine, which I believe is a washer dryer. Just beyond the breakfast bar is the saloon area where there's two large leather sofas that are included in the sale price. Just take a look back towards the breakfast bar side. Gonna spin round again. As you can see a massive great big ventilator skylight above. Can't tell you how nice and bright and spacious this is for a cruising vessel. The quality of the fit out is just absolutely amazing. Just 
actually the second bedroom but also converts into more living space and it's a plasma 3D TV on the wall this whole area here can be covered with screens to completely isolate this room As you can see the screens are very thick and chunky and should insulate from sound as, as well as giving privacy. It's going to spin back now to, so you can appreciate the whole space from one corner of the room. Very, very, very nice quality fit out. Right, we're going now through to this corridor where on the right hand side here is a nice little bathroom with it's designed as a wet room and it has electric flushing toilet and the tower rail is connected to the central heating system. The, the central heating is a Webasco. Nice round skylight above. Now we're heading towards the master bedroom. Nice dressing table, two wardrobes, plenty of storage under the bed. and an access point to the front deck, the foredeck, where there is seating outside for two as well. Just gonna look back, there's the second bathroom which is en suite. This is very opulent and luxurious, this area. We're now heading towards the bathroom. The nice quality ceramic hand basin. Freestanding bath. Another towel rail, which is heated. And flushing toilet. Lovely portholes, two wardrobes, and there are screens. As you can see, just under the steps there, so that this whole area can be blackened out. These can also cover the portholes for privacy.